I'm Councillor Veronica Copeland. I'm the Cabinet Member for Adult Social Care and Housing. The Council spends around £30 million each year on services for older people and for people with disabilities and impairments. The law requires us to assess any individuals who come forward and we have to fund any needs which meet the threshold for funding set by Darlington Borough Council. Following the assessment of need, a financial assessment is also carried out to decide on any financial contribution. Many people who receive social care services also have a health need and we work closely with hospitals and GPs to make sure that we provide joined up services and that costs are shared appropriately between the agencies. There are important services which we provide to safeguard vulnerable adults and to assess the capacity of people to manage their own affairs and to make their own decisions. Older people and those with disabilities are living longer than ever before and needing social or health care services. We need to plan how to meet the needs of an ageing population when we have declining resources. This means a radical rethink about how we work with the health services and the voluntary sector through such schemes as the Good Neighbour Scheme and Befriending Services. I am also responsible for housing services in Darlington, including the services provided for people who become homeless and the Lifeline service, which many elderly people rely on to keep themselves safe and independent. We are reviewing these services to ensure they are provided in the most cost-effective way. Doesn't the Council, elected members and officers, have an obligation to consider the impact of the financial decisions on the public sector partners as well as the Council? Withdrawing certain services could have a knock-on effect for criminal justice and the NHS. This is still taxpayers' money. Only considering business cases which save the Council money is not in the best interests of Darlington taxpayers. Hearing members are worried about losing services and worried about using alternative service providers. They like the way hearing support them. They worry about change, worried that they won't be able to maintain their tenancy without support. Forms, letters, bills worry these people. Getting support that they feel comfortable with is important and they like the flexibility that hearing provide. Supporting people services in the community are very valuable. People are supported to turn their lives around, become less chaotic and be more stable. Disabled people are affected nine times more than the average person by the cuts. Disabled people who need council services are affected 19 times more. These figures are from a leading thinker who has advised government and local authorities and are entirely based on the government's own statistics. Don't get rid of supporting adults, as some people cannot manage. I know I can't manage because I have a PA to help me do the things I can't do. If I spent 24-7 with my husband, who is disabled, I would go round the bend.